time today. What an incredible panel that you just did. Now, it's very clear you are very deeply into tech. But before we get into the positive side of technology and generative AI, I want to talk to you about challenges. Challenges is an area that some people shy away from. And I want to understand what are some of the challenges that you from behind the scenes and in the tech world are encountering? So what we see for many customers is a transition from POC to production. And that can be a bumpy road if you don't get the right things uh, in place. Meaning, uh, selecting the right use case. Right? Some people get stuck you know, with a use case that might not have a good ROI. You build something, then you don't get buy in the organization. And then you lose trust. So really, really important for the first use case, earn trust and show the successes. Then you get more buying. Talk about buying, you need to have leadership sponsorship. Right? Otherwise, you get lost in inspiration, and then when you need to move forward, you don't have the resources. So getting leadership buying, uh, right use case, and then also knowledge, allowing employees to learn and experiment, making sure that's a priority, that's also important. We have some customers, for example, Binder, who set up uh, Binder uh, AI Labs, for example, you know, create new structures to put the organization in a path that you can innovate. And that's really important. So that's what they see, uh, you know, to fix those challenges, that those are the ways uh, companies are working. And you mentioned, I keep on, you mentioned the word trust. So I want to get into that a little bit more because technology and innovation is about trust. We understand that fear normally makes people not want to try new products, new innovation. We're here at London Tech Week where lots of exhibitors such as AWS have incredible technology but people are fearful of trying it. What would you say to anyone listening that goes, I want to take the plunge, but I'm fearful of these new generative AI and technologies that you guys are creating, and I don't know if it's good for my company. So fear, I don't say that much in my head, but still we are humans, and it's more the change part of it, right? So you used to do things the same way, and maybe it's fear or resistant to try something new, but yeah, we see that. Um, and there, yeah, what I would say, you know, first, explore. Now, we are so much used to do the work we do in the same way from 10, 20 years. Uh, book some time, you know, try to do the same thing with a generic tool next to you or any other type of tech that might help and experiment and document the learnings. And when you do that, share with your family, friends and colleagues so that people can keep on learning. So that's one, you know, being curious and trying new things, but also to break this fear, let's say, uh, check out successes of all the companies and other peers. You can find a lot, a lot of good use case uh, online. It gets inspired. Join us in the book. I talk exactly. to clients, I talk to AWS, and you can definitely share some use cases where people can try and experiment and uh, lose this uh, attrition on preaching to start uh, and using general ID. Absolutely. And we're here, we're right in the middle of the startups on that side and enterprises there. So perfect location for this conversation because my next question is about how can both startups and enterprises speed up future journeys with solutions such as the ones that AWS provides? This, uh, for specific core generative AI, is changing really fast. Right? There are new models, new solutions. So one thing that both startups and enterprises need is a platform, tools that allows you new models out and it's really good for the business for you to change it. Or, but before changing, you want to test if the, all the results and benchmark is still good. So you need a platform that allows you to choose the right models, allow you to test and benchmark them really fast, allows you to create agentic uh, flows, agentic systems, picking the right model from the right tools. So you really need the support. And that startups, enterprise, you know, ISVs, NBs, they all need that. So they all can leverage those things. And it's also what's interesting here, because there's so many new solutions, I see the synergy of enterprise working startups to also move past and work together. A startup might be faster to bring a new type of agentic solution to market, and enterprise can try to integrate their own internal uh, systems or even external facing customer facing tools uh, to improve the experience. So there's the platform that's same for both, but then collaborating to bring new products. Exactly, and Felipe. This is why it's so important to attend events such as London Tech Week, the one of many events around the world, because we have the crossover of the startups and enterprises. And the enterprises, you at AWS, you guys are leaders and role models for the new generation. 
So we need to be able to speak to people such as yourself or the other many executives who are here available to talk to us to know what can we do. And now let's get into the deep tech part of you, which you love to talk about, which is the actual products. On a stage earlier during the panel, you gave amazing conversations. There are amazing examples. Can you give us three examples of products that you're currently working on, developing, and they're already in operation? And what can I do to the enterprises out there? So let me relate also to the panel we had. I think the first automation is Amazon Bedrock. That's the easiest way to put generative AI into production at scale. And we had an example for root cause analysis. You had that in F1, we have issues, but also manufacturing. Just being able to consolidate a vast amount of data and get the insights from that data past that leveraging tools like Bedrock and generative AI, that's one of the implementation. Talking about Bedrock, one I cannot miss is Amazon Nova. Amazon Nova is our own uh, Amazon's uh, model. And then Amazon Nova is being used also, you know, we had the example of creation of the Peach for Formula One. Nova is the model running the background. And Nova is great because it is a leading foundation model, but 75% more cost effective than similar models in the same rate. So if you're really going at scale, production that really, really matters. And then uh, the last one I'll mention is SageMaker AI. If you're building foundation models, but also put it production at scale, it gives you more control uh, because you also have access to hundreds of thousands of machine learning models you can uh, try on. And you have companies we work with, like Booking.com, using SageMaker AI to reduce by five times frame time, reducing by two times inference time in production, really getting the business impact with successful. So yeah, those are the three I'll mention. Wow, that's just incredible products that AWS has. And we could talk about these for hours, but we're not going to. I'm not going to take too much more of your time. Now, Felipe, you have a great example of somebody who has grown at AWS with your own journey. There is a lot of people out there, the young generation, who are the future of AWS and many more companies. What advice do you have to those young kids that are thinking, I may want to be an engineer, maybe a WS is a company I want to work for one day. What do they need to do and what words of advice do you have so that you're not fearful of starting in this world? So say be curious, but also be inspired. A lot of things are changing and might bring fear, but it depends how you look at it. There's a lot of, also a lot of new opportunities, new things you can work on, and can, it's also very exciting. So I'll say, you know, still be inspired, but what you love to do, but check how tech can help you to have new ideas on how to do that better uh, from technology, from uh, sustainability, have ways to help the world. There's so many new companies also using Generative AI to have a positive impact that's really nice. Uh, and the curiosity part of it is really important. You need to put the time, you need to try on, you need to try you know, different solutions. Yeah, try, try and learn. I'm, but in my personal life, I'm up using a lot well, I'm planning my tricks to, you know, deciding what to do today and, and many other things in my family. So also on that side, just learning how those tools um, can provide values or in those, those apps. And, then, like, and there you have it, guys. Don't be fearful of using technology for anybody listening. Make sure you talk to the AWS, to the engineers, to Felipe, if it's not at London Tech Week, at any other event where you find them. Felipe, thank you so much for your time. See you next time.